It may be the most recognizable sign in the whole world. It is only a single word, but it conjures up thousands of images. The Hollywood sign. For more than eight decades, it sat high on a hill in California as a symbol of the hopes and dreams of aspiring actors. But few people know this is a replacement. And until tonight, almost no one knew the original sign is actually in Bloomington. Here's Frank Bassalero to explain why. Hooray for Hollywood. Today, one simple word symbolizes the glamour and fame of the entire entertainment industry. The sign was erected 84 years ago by a real estate developer to attract home buyers. At the time, it was called Hollywood Land. By 1949, the Chamber of Commerce bought the sign and dropped land, creating the image we know today. By the late 70s, it was falling apart and was eventually replaced. The pieces of the original sign were removed and soared away for more than 20 years until this Minnesotan entered the picture. We took a 54-foot trailer and uh, loaded it up and brought it here, you know, unloaded it. Stacked in artist Bill Mack's workshop, the sign's glitz and glamour are gone. That's where it comes. And look at that, you know, all that paint and the rust in there and the holes. To understand how he would transform a historic piece of scrap metal into art, you have to know Bill Mack. Now, this is the uh, sculpture of Kareem that's inside the front entrance to the uh, NBA Hall of Fame and Madonna of the Butterfly. And that hangs in the Vatican? That's in the Vatican collection. The Minneapolis native who graduated with a degree in journalism from the U and never had formal art training is now known as the preeminent relief sculptor in the world. And the first time I, someone asked me to do a relief, which involves a very uh, difficult technical ability, I was able to do it the first time. That was when he was only 17. This is what he creates now. Incredibly detailed three-dimensional sculptures he calls alto relief. They bring walls to life. He's even created a new category of art called virtual relief. He wouldn't reveal the secret, but flat two-dimensional works magically appear in 3D. Most of his works incorporate the female form. Since he couldn't afford professional models when he started, his wife of 30 years, Deb, would stand in. Some aspect of Deb Mack still shows up in virtually all the work. Another unique creation is the acrylic sculpture of Jesus. Billy Graham has this piece, and Trisha Yearwood, and Garth Brooks. Beyond creating, Mac also loves collecting from his favorite artist. This is a original Picasso. To movie memorabilia. <laughs> to costumes like the Cowardly Lion. He bought the outfit in 1985 for a few thousand, then sold it six months ago for more than $800,000. Combine that love of collecting Hollywood history with his artistic gift, and it's time to tackle the sign. I decided to put these real classic images of the great movie stars from the earlier years of Hollywood on that rusted up old material. That's Rita Hayworth on a single piece of that old rusty sign. He also remembered classic stars like Greta Garbo, James Dean, and the unforgettable Marilyn Monroe. Mac painted their portraits on several pieces of sign to create a scaled down letter H. Mac's affinity for Monroe lives in his studio. These are the original gates to her home. Who do you think touched the handle of that gate? I'm sure that Arthur Miller yeah. has uh, gone through the gate. Joe DiMaggio, uh, arguably the, both of the Kennedys. He also has Marilyn Monroe's bed, but never opened the case it was delivered in. Hooray for Hollywood. Because of Minnesota's own Bill Mack, a piece of Americana has new life. He found a way to meld his two passions, art and memorabilia, into one form. I'm going to have ideas the last three more lifetimes. Now, this is an actual piece of the sign, and you can see how beat up it is. The holes were to let the wind blow through the sign so that it would not get knocked down. And this is a uh, portrait of Jean Harlow. She was one of America's first movie stars. And Mac loaned her portrait to us tonight, and he took kind of a risk in doing that. This thing sold immediately for $75,000. Okay, don't touch. Oh, don't touch. And Mac is considering a number of ideas, including possibly recreating an entire new sign out of the original material in perhaps Japan or India. To know more about Bill Mack, his art, and the Hollywood sign, log on to wccocom links.